So we're here with Stefan at the Bangkok Fish Show as usual. Sundays, yeah. what's, what's it called? Hot Shot Sunday? Hot Shot Sunday. Hot Shot Sunday is still going on. Yep. So people dancing around, having a good time. Yeah, dancing around the table. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what they're allowed to do. Limitations, limitations. Yes, yep. yeah. uh, so how's it been the last couple of weeks? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a uh, busy Sunday, busy weekends, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it's, uh, everybody's like waiting for the 1st of June. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's going to be like a bomb. So. Big difference. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I see that you guys have some artwork going on today. Yes, it's with uh, Osa and uh, Caro. They've been okay. uh, having like uh, their first Venisars. Uh, exhibition. Yeah, exhibition, yeah. and yep. uh, it's like erotic art. Oh, yeah, it's very erotic. Yeah, it is. Hardcore. I like it. And, uh, we, we might get banned for putting this on our show, but <laughs> nah, life. It's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not that. <laughs> it's but not uh, porn. <laughs> no, no, no. Soft. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I just wanted to talk to you real quick, just, just to recognize that. Yeah. Cool, man. Stefan's been doing this throughout the fucking whole pandemic time. Yeah. He's been one of the few people, like I said last time, holding it down for the scene. If you're not doing nothing, check out Bangkok Beast Show. Always on Sundays. Hot Shot Sundays, yeah? Yes, you're welcome. That's right. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Cool. Uh, what is your name, darling? Uh, Osa Bari. Osa, Osa Bari, yes. Okay. And you've made all this art? Yes. And uh, I, I can probably guess, but what, what is your inspiration for all of this? Uh, I would say, um, like, I'm very, uh, not interested, but I'm very, like, impressed by the human body and the skin and all the uh, functions that is, like, 100% so, like, excellent and, mm. like, I wish we could all enjoy what we are able to a little bit more and I think it would be uh, very good if it's it's more like okay for women also to like enjoy enjoy their bodies yeah. and to have fun yeah yep. but uh which one I mean I know it's probably hard it's like saying which is your favorite child but which piece is your favorite of all of this I, I would say um, uh, maybe the one the stay down the one on the left the far left? Yeah, because uh, that one is very, like, uh, people react a little bit more to that one. It's not like, it's like the, mm, yeah, it's not very common picture to see as no. art. Like, I have to ask, but uh, is, there is a female who is uh, standing and a man yeah. who is, okay, because yeah. the long hair got a bit confused. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit confusing. I would have to say it's um, um, a nice picture. Yeah. I have no complaints about yeah. that picture. Good, I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Yeah. And you've done all of these completely from scratch, just out of your, your mind, or did you like, yeah. start with pictures? Yeah, some I like, get the inspiration from pictures, and like if I have an idea, I like try to find something similar, and I get like mm -hmm. yeah, some some ideas, but mostly from my head. Yeah. All right. How long have you been uh, doing art? Uh, like this, maybe just a year. Okay. Yeah, but uh, like. I've always been enjoying it, and mm -hmm. but never like giving myself the time to, okay. yeah, to like be an artist. Have you studied any art or anything no, like that? Yeah, this good. is all natural. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank really you. good work. I think you managed to capture the definitely the forms of the human body and the things that you, you you say were interesting. And I love very the colors. Yes, thank you. Because it's like it's very minimal because it's like the colors is like it's just the background. Yeah. Very little like color around and then the bodies. Yeah. I'm I think very it's fantastic. To hear that. That's really nice what job. I, really wanna, yeah. I mean, when I saw the poster, I was like, okay, I have to come down and check out what else she has going on. Good. I, I, Good. I really like it. I appreciate it. Nice meeting you. Also. Nice meeting you. Right. Thank you. Grew up in Gothenburg. Yep. How are you uh, connected to the techno scene though? Oh, I don't know. I started like finding those like outdoors parties in back in 19, uh, 2012, 13. Okay. And uh, then I went to like 
Berlin to visit a friend who lived there and yeah, <laughs> I got hooked. And then As I, mo then like I moved to else. America for two years and got like involved in the scene over there in San Diego. How was the techno scene there? It's similar. I mean, it's uh, you get the same kind of like family, like the same vibe. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is, and like the by order of people, and, like ages of, to from like fifty to twenty, uh, twenty to fifty. But me personally, I would say that the music here in Europe in general is better than what it is. It's in harder. States. Harder, even. Yeah, I think it's harder. Okay. But like California was like this lot of like new wave and like the whole mm -hmm. Burning Man like yeah thing. So they knew what the deal was. Yeah. Yep. And they had like really cool warehouse parties. That was like All right. good. Fantastic. But uh, if you were to say what's the main thing that attracts you to the techno scene, what would you say that is? Is it the music? Is it the vibe? Is it the people? Is it the combination of the three? I mean, yeah, it's the, I think like the whole like community. Like mm. that we have like, the, like people, people like, <laughs> Break the backs, like do stuff for free, exactly. <laughs> because like everyone wants to, that that should be like a good party. Mm. That's why you like you're doing it. Yeah, mostly. Mm -hmm. I would and, agree. Yeah, it is for like just about everyone we meet. It's it's all about the community vibe. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the things that you do, like one of the things that you do that I like so much is your graphic design. Yeah. And soon you're gonna be making T-shirts for us. Yeah. Yeah. I will. The uh, five T vodcast T-shirts coming soon, <laughs> courtesy of Mons. But that's also like how that's like how I started like working in the scene was that because I did I did like prints for the Techno Boston, the first one. Okay. And so do like around then like I it, like I swooped up on like a, first I think, was I like, think I might no I, I took that off because I have one uh, of those shirts actually. <laughs> but first I was like doing it for uh, the Suicide Club. For Ossian and yeah, and uh, they would no, yeah, and when he was Gabriella was uh, with them too. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Because yeah. uh, I knew her from like before. Okay. And they were the one who like took me in and like let me sell like my stuff at their at their venues. Cool. And we also did like every time we did like one like suicide uh, club uh, thing like a, like drawstring bags and uh, tank tops and stuff. So like, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember like the first one of the first interactions we had was at the. The Buster party that they did up on um, what's that mountain called? Some Bayat. Uh, Nobel Bayat. Nobel Bayat. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, you made the shirts. I think I might even have that shirt still yeah. somewhere. The bubble shirt. Oh yeah, exactly. No, I don't have that. Anymore. Someone stole that from me. Oh. See if but you can. yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so that was like your your inner. Huh? Yeah, that's like when uh, if that when, like after that like when everything like started moving and then mm. I started like doing clubs with Aaron, uh, Aaron and. And Ambra and Paula, and we did like beer club for a while, then some like things at backdoor and at Garbus also. Beer club, what was that? <laughs> it was like when the take the bus uh, was over, yeah. uh, marketing now we had backdoor because they, they, okay, they, yeah, they, yeah. they open like right after. More than you, you want, yeah, also. yeah. And he would like Miss Inga. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and he wanted like Aaron Martin to... Inga. Is that a short way to say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Martin Inga. That's his new name now. What would you say has been your your most fun experience in this? Uh, I mean, the, when the, the like when the reopening like Bronx like the first venue like the Bogdan Oh yeah. yeah. That, that summer was like pretty magical. Oh. oh. Madness. Because <laughs> everyone was there. Yeah. And yeah that. That was a really fun time. Yeah, we, we definitely did have the hot spot for we at did. least that we summer. Yep. That <laughs> and I worked like every Friday and Saturday. So I knew like oh, I'd like to also like to knew what I was gonna do. Like exactly. whole, every weekend was like okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, Friday I'm here, Saturday yeah. I'm here. Yep. I don't have to like go look for things now, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so if you had one thing that you wanted to say to everybody that's out there, like whether it has to do with the scene or not, what would you say to everybody? Like like a specific message you want to put out there? Have fun. <laughs> be nice. Yeah. Have fun, be nice. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. <laughs>
skuggan, Tobias, uh, and uh, yeah, part of uh, the scene, uh, I love to dance. And how did you get involved in the techno scene? Uh, I changed a big part in my life and, uh, uh, and I had a little bit of uh, trauma. So uh, then I started to go out dancing, because just to, to work on it and uh, uh, yeah. Because I know you used to be a rock and roller, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I used to be touring rock and roll. You've yeah. made like rock and roll tracks and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I, I, did you have a band or? Yes, I did. What was uh, the name of the band? Uh, Necrophobic and uh, Order of Isas. So you've been in two bands? Yeah, uh, more. Than that. More than that? <laughs> Fantastic. So how many years did you do rock and roll before you got involved in techno? Oof. 20. 20 years? Maybe, yeah. Fantastic. We're not going to yeah, talk about Yeah, I was involved with techno before, but, but, okay. but, uh, but then I went more briefly. But uh, yeah. these days I go well, every day if I can. Uh, what would you say is the thing that attracts you to this techno scene? Um, the... Uh, <laughs> is it all the latest, all the loose girls? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's something actually I, I noticed. Uh, the first time I went to, to, to rave was Docklands. Yeah. And uh, I, I came from the rock and roll scene and I was like, yeah, hey, nice girls. And, uh, mm. and I realized they were not interested at all. Like, yeah, exactly. It was new to me. But it took me 10 minutes to, to understand that, okay, you don't pull on the girls here. Exactly. Yeah. It's and a different uh, environment. Yeah, it is. And that's something I really like. Yeah. That, that it's for you, the space is for you. And you should, you should be allowed to have your space. And no one should come in and interfere with it. You also find I mean, friends in techno scene from all different kind of classes and, uh, and uh, yeah, countries, whatever, you know, yeah. and, and the sexual... Uh, uh, preferences. Orientation. Yeah, preferences. <laughs> orientation is a good word. Orientation, sexual yeah, orientation. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, that's that's uh, more, that's unique. Uh, you, you don't find that in a, any other subculture in that way. Uh, and uh, you realize you have friends that are lawyers and and, and uh, friends that uh, don't are un unemployed and living on the street even. Exactly. Like, so so when we try to help each other. Has, Exactly. Yeah. We do it together. That's the biggest thing about the techno scene in Stockholm. Yeah. Yep. Always with the fantastic outfits, get his outfit. <laughs> so always with the fantastic outfits, always with the fantastic style, always a, a guy on the dance floor that's like ready to go, that's full on all the time. As a DJ, I appreciate that, bro. And as a party fixer, you are one of the people that gets the, the crowd going. So we appreciate that. School gun, thank you for this couple of minutes. Yep. Appreciate it, bro. Why don't you tell people who you are? Uh, Julia Sabay. Okay. And uh, how did you end up in Stockholm's techno scene? Uh, I ended up at a rave and then at an after party, and I was there five days. And then I was home. <laughs> when was this? Uh, I think it was like three years ago. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so from that first experience, you were hooked? Yeah. Exactly, even I found my family in that space, like, yep. never go home. No. Yep. So, and what do you think is so special about the techno scene, why you really have to be here all the time? Uh, like, it's the dance, it's like the rhythm that we do together, that we synchronize, and, and it's almost like a meditation thing, but it uh, sends us mm. in a place, and we get energy from it. And like you going, feed off each other. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and going in Zen, Mm. with the same rhythm and pattern and blah, blah blah that it creates this bubble of energy that suddenly explodes. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you had a, like a, a wish for what's going to happen after this whole pandemic thing, like, what do you think is going to happen? Like we're going to get back to parties as usual or it's going to be something extraordinary or what? Oh shit, uh, I don't know, fuck. I think I, w I would love to get smaller. Smaller? Yeah, get back to the small shit. Like opening up our, like building up this uh, technical community, communities and like bam, 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 but you can do it everywhere, yep. but it don't, doesn't have to be the, that These big. gigantic 4,000 no. people parties. No, I don't want that. I it want becomes small. a bit impersonal. Yeah, yep. exactly. All right, cool. And uh, it, it integrates with arts and shit. Yeah, like we have it now today where there's yeah, exactly. art floating all around. Yeah, but what if it was in the forest? Put like, art hanging from the trees. Yeah, exactly. I'm with that. So yeah. that's my... Have some visuals in the trees and all that shit. Mm -hmm. That's what we, mm -hmm. we should do. Yeah. yeah. So more art and smaller, smaller uh, Crowd. groups. Yeah. yeah. 
Exactly. I'm not gonna stress you too much because it's Sunday and we know that you know no one's really in their sharpest mode right now. So I think that's it. I just want to put your face on camera yeah. and get let people know who you are. Thank you, Jules. Thank you. Techno and Talk Tuesday, Thursdays and Thursdays. Like you are watching the 5D podcast. Techno and Talk on Tuesday and Thursdays with Ty. That's I have no it. idea what I said. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Trian Sandling. How did you end up in Stockholm Techno City? Uh, live be, just beside the Techno scene. You live beside where? Beside uh, Techno State? Techno Arts. Techno Arts? You live in. in uh, Snesetra. You live in Snesetra? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. And that's, that's where you discovered Techno? Yes. Okay. And no, I did it be, before when I was young, but uh, not uh, like that. What do you think is so special about techno scene? Why you like to be here and dance with all these people and stuff? Well, the music is perfect. It's my music and I love the people. We are the same. Everyone are the same. We are respecting everyone. Exactly. I want to thank you for the support you've been giving me because you've been sharing our videos and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. This is why I want to get you on camera. Thank you for that. And thank you for the, the, the positive vibe that you always have at the parties. I love the parties. Exactly. Parties is my life. It's uh, thank you for that. Nothing can compare with that. Today, yes. Stockholm, Five T Broadcast, Techno and Talk on Tuesdays and Thursdays with Todd. And now she's gonna say it. Can you say that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. I would like to give a special shout out to Yeni because she she said that she watched she binged watch 15 episodes of the show. Yeah. And that's respect. So. Shout out to Yenny Scorpio. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all the time you spent watching our videos.